Yo, good morning. It is 11.22 a.m. Uh, August 14th, 2023. I'm back for another day of uh, Red Dead 2. Day 3. Um, let me see. What are, we, what are we at? I think we're at a Dutch mission coming up. I think we got Dutch coming up. Um, and uh, I think we're going to leave this campsite and find a new one. So might be getting into some shit now. What up, Dave? Good morning. Um, all right. Well, let's go through the uh, process of opening this game up, which my PC hates doing. I Googled it. And it's like, my game is lagging OBS. And they they, they were like, uh, drop your graphic settings. I don't want to do it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I'll just deal with laggy OBS. The game still runs fine. I want my game to look pretty. Slow process of the game opening. Here we go. Action Rockstar. Skip. We'll get there. We'll get there. Come on, PC. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, there we go. And there's the game. Hey, Renata. Hey, Dustin. Scarecrow. Yeah, reminder, tomorrow is going to be the YouTube stream. It will be Resident Evil, so... Keep an eye on uh, notifications, or you know, if, you, if yeah, I'll be live on YouTube tomorrow with Ari. Yeah, we're back at camp, and um, they basically packed up everything. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. I can't get close to you, Dutch. What is? Oh, so, we moving? Yeah, 
Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. My oh, horse is always shitting. That's it, old girl. Set up the. Okay, so we're going here. A lot of horses. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Hold up a second. Hurry up, Charles. Just right with me. Come on. So you was just talking about something? Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Hit a lot of Cornwall's mess. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know well, by Dutch now, is paranoid. there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way his, Dutch is His mental health is dwindling. Way to cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which Dutch would never hide in a cave. Funny, he me. says that, so where does it because end? at the end of RDR1, you, cha you running, chase him into a cave, <laughs> and then kill him at the top know. of it. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, it's Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Well, Dutch calls himself, but Maybe the price on our heads got same idea. Big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah. Search for inhabitants. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. They're dead. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. We're gonna shoot for the sake of it. Think of it. Quit talking. I got the big gun. Oh, we're going by foot. Oh, this is that German family, I think. Place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Hey. 
confuse everybody. Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, they don't they know English. No. No, go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Oh, well, she does. Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We hey, Katrina. Wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Way. I got it for Charles. With his spider senses. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch. Undead Nightmare was fun. They picked the wrong Great DLC. There. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just. Oh, Rainbow. Let me make sure this is right. What's in the water? Oh, it's a fish. Along the shore here. Anyway, you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. He said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year ago. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. They carry on along this trail. So, you were saying? He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. John's a good man. There's a camp up ahead. All these motherfuckers made mistakes. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Any Germans? Oh. Where is 
this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Oh, right there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick. Cut him free. Let's get out of here. Oh, of course. Three coming right at us. You get the hell away from him. What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight. Fucking Charles with his bow and arrow. We got more right in it. Backwards making a run for it. Take him down. Well, I tried. That's done dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. My hands been exploded. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever you Go just said. Go Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Turn the cellar to his family. All right, well, let's go, buddy. I think this guy gives me like a gold bar. Although I don't need money, so if I, if I have the option to let him keep it, I'll let him keep it. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? <laughs> oh, oh, Arthur, you simple man. Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Who, who come up with them words? <laughs> Oh, Arthur. Almost back to your home or family. I mean, yeah. Easy, girl. There we go. There they are. There's your family. I dunk. Schatz. Andreas. Andreas. Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Keiner wärst du gewesen. 
Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja. Hey, hey, calm down, Arthur. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Hey. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep, should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. Can I eat without you bothering me? I guess, oh, that's bullshit. I don't want coffee, I want food.
Where's my tent? Oh, I, I can only be facial hair. No, nah, I want to. I want to shave my head. I'm gonna let my beard grow. on the map okay so we got dutch it's just dutch it's over there by the water hello Jack down there playing. Hey, sweetheart. How you doing, old friend? Uh, Ooh, that cough. Funny. He just coughed. I'm standing up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a they are like here. I Dutch is basically like a Charles Manson type. <laughs> He's got that way with words that people just follow him. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather. Would... My days are looking good along. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. I remember this mission. There was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money. The plan over there. Somewhere, <laughs> nobody will find us. Classic Dutch lines. We don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See okay, so don't use up. weapons Dutch, and roads. We have got to be discreet. Okay. Imagine <clears throat> what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. 
Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Oh, we're gonna end up saving these people. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. So let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Hoagie McIntosh. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help Oh, they're gone. Arthur! Chase wanted man uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come Hop on, on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train and do not shoot them. You hear me? Come on, hurry. Do not All shoot right. them. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. Shut the What's fuck name, up. Arthur, Arthur Callahan. Oh, uh, now it's creative, Arthur. Use your first name to change the last. Real creative, Arthur. Oh, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks like a son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Go back to cops. <laughs> you all are got him. Idiot. You fucking dumbass. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Come on, get to the side of that train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Uh, no, I pressed the wrong Watch button. Well, that's unfortunate. Keep us close to the train. This just didn't work out. Where the hell are you going? Stick to the side of the train. Get in closer. I'm trying. Oh, now it's speeding up. Okay.
Beat that motherfucker's ass up, bro. This guy pulls a knife, I think. It's just us then, Lawman. Yeah. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. Do it. Yes, sir. Just don't kill him. Are you sure? Badly so. Watch yourself. He's as dirty as they come. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Yeah. I think I just snapped his neck. <laughs> I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Like a yes, slave plantation. Well, it's, it's past right that here, point. Tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall. It's 1890s. But I'm sure there were slaves that back up. For years. Sheriff Gray's the one I, know I see workers. Course, but they They're probably getting paid, though. In town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said. Just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. No guns, or no weapons, at all in roads. Oh. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Hopefully, I can get a haircut here. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Hey, fellas. The sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Okay. This way. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. 
I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out over rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where do you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents in some sense. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families... Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, okay. I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. I don't want to go fishing. Sorry. First time here, I think. That's broke that man's. That's broke that man's fucking. Goods and sundries on the shelves. Uh, glass in his window in or in his door. Right oh, that's the whole range. Get crickets. Violence in Valentine. Read all about it. That should be good. Thanks, Mister. All right, gunsmith. Um, sheriff's office, doctor. Confederate soldier. What's it to be? Well, I can't buy nothing. Thanks. Too bad, Jake. Tell my brother down. A hotel. Okay, so we got uh Braze. 
And then we got Mr. Pearson. I'll, I'll go to the Grays. Hear the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. I see wood here. This is you. Yep, Bo Gray. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, Looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff. Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the brave. Uh, this is some like so Capulets and Montagues no or not explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupid. I mean, Juliet, whatever. Supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she she's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you oh. help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Rangers and ours are. Yeah, for the guards. Nice, dude. So long, and good luck. Girl. Good. 
Eat a carrot. Later, Bo. Bye, guards. I'll probably kill later. Where away is this? Well, where am I going? Uh, it's not too far. Yeah. Here we go. Is this that mansion that we eventually use as a? Hide out. No. Mansion, but not the... Oh. Okay. People want to kill me. I can see the lookouts on my map. I just didn't shoot me. Don't mind the cre <laughs> creeping guy. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, you... it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio? Ohio? Oh, God. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? 
Fucking Aaron boy. Uh, the whole map is red. Oh my god. Seen. That's rough. What if I... What if I just swim? Yes. I just remembered. Red dead. Swimming's not a great option. I didn't I didn't feel like stealthing. I'm sorry. I wasn't even here yet. Got my money. Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. 
She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Some money? Fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Arthur likes we'll money. Down the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally. You gotta let her rally. Well, good yeah, that's on her. Is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. What is this? Damn. Oh, it's a suffrage movement. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one. Mm -hmm. and we good know guy, our Arthur. Calls is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. A man of the women. <laughs> Yay, women. <laughs> Right through town to the steps of the Becca Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Ladies and 
and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> It, it's really weird to, to think, as someone living modern day, that people used to be like against women having equal rights. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Or people in general. His cousin is a moron. Just a weird concept. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better? It's just weird, man. Where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Oh, can you hurry up? go back and hear the speeches I ain't voted before but kind of getting hot for voting rights I don't know whether to take you seriously Mr. Morgan my cousins are my primary concern right that now that sky's looking if everyone knows about Penelope kind of fierce everyone knows about Penelope and you I know about Penelope and you and I've been here all of 10 minutes the sooner it's out the sooner it's resolved the sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. I hate the this horse truck. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money. But I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Later, Bo. Thirty bucks. Okay, girl. Well done, girl. All right, what do we got now? Uh, we got Dutch. Pearson. Molly O'Shea. I'll go see Dutch. Yeah. Sound like a snake. Hey, yeah, you're all right, girl. Easy now. Yeah, good girl. The 
Yep. Yep. That's off the map. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business, you boys. Yeah, have. Gray's a sheriff. Kid. Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rose, and he's we drunk have shit. work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Deputy Marston. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe Deputy hands Dutch? Now. That sounds good. And people waste time. Dee Dee, Deputy Dutch. Achievement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. Hey, Liz. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So... These moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Yeah. Now labor laws. AKA slavery ended. Still hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace. If they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Grays and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather 
suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Don't look good. Oh. Oh shit! I was zoned out. I'm supposed to get off. Whoops. Oh. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Impressive. You got a keen eye. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Am uh, I getting back on this? Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Well, it sounds like you fellas got your work cut out for you around here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't I remember this mission. The eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Alive, okay. And take this no killing. Down for good. I think only by in a while. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Arthur. Remember what he said. We need them. Oh, that's right. Why? Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Oh well.
What's wrong? I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. This guy. Just don't look over at me. That'll do it. Nobody died yet. can handle explosives sure anyone but him oh, so you're real funny don't like dynamite on the distillery the last time i mentioned it i swear I'll do it. Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. 
Let's go. Are we getting out of here then? Trying to. return to our lives ah seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine sure would you like us to well, i normally take it for personal consumption it's sort of part of the job but i better get back home why don't i just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war we are all americans of course my cousin webster he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, <laughs> no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move We it. have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Thank you, Deputy Dutch. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Oh, really? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on. My word. Set, go! Talking shit, Dutch. Back up, Dutch. Idiot. Yeah, I'm blocking you, motherfucker. You really think you can hold that lead? No. With enough horse drugs, I can.
Dutch, you're getting smoked. so much <laughs> well time is a bastard when you get to be my age well you'll know that better than anything be well i had fun with you today here i was gonna say you're like a son to me but you're more than that oh dutch what a charles manson comment out of you got him got to make him feel important so to keep you know, listening to you Give me a second. Is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. You are. Complain, complain, complain. I ain't complaining. I'm just saying. You're not saying, miss. You're shouting. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yeah, they left the ladies in port. <laughs> and you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. Depending on the ladies. Should I say the women? I hear Sadie yelling. All right, let's see what we got now. Close that fire there, Micah. Good morning, Arthur. Molly, Pearson, Abigail. Which sounds the most interesting? I go with Pearson. Well, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, Sadie. I'm gonna kill you. Sadie's a bad bitch. You put that knife down, or you could be missing a hand. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Enough! Both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Sadie's so cool. <laughs> you need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. Yay, Sadie. You Easily one of the best there. characters in this game. I guess. She's great. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Uh, where's that letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Oh, 
robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. I am sorry about that. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that bag. People look at we got work to Sandy's do. outfit right now. Good help for a more beautiful day. Oh, rather have the sun than the clouds. Back on the wagon? Oh, am I not close enough? Shopkeeper, will you? No, are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy us some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Let's go check the mail. Eat some peaches. We've had quite enough of your kind here. Can I help you, mister? Do I got any yes, bounties? I would like to post a letter. No. All right. Okay. Okay. Set. No trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Now Sadie's all fancy. One of them hair tonics last night burnt my scalp something fierce. Sure hope you're lying. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Better get back on. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. Well, is it a I can wear Southern USA wear saying? Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife. Bless your heart. Making cherry pies all a lot of Southern USA yeah, people I use it as like a that. nice thing to say. But they're actually being assholes. It was just in like, it, it was an example of what you were just saying. Where they say something, but they mean something else, you know? Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. Same thing. I'm real sorry. Yeah, yeah. 
covering up words. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Zadie's fierce. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Don't don't kill the cook. We need food. Hey, there. hey. What uh? What you folks up to? Just heading home. Oh, we got a problem. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, 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 Liz. No, I don't think so. You don't no, no, no. think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hi. Exactly, Steph. It can be used for good and, and yeah, and bad. All right, let's go. All right, I'll drive us back. Are you coming then? Sadie, calm your ass. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Idiot. We show no bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful! So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah. I've run into them before. Some local gang. Yeah, it's ours, she did. Grown out of playing soldiers. If it was GTA, she would have gotten a DLC. You go upset and pierce about that letter. Sadly, Rockstar only cares about GTA. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of volumes. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Nice pants? What are you, like, what are you looking at her ass? That's how I'd take that one. All right, Molly O'Shea. My dead eye is, uh, Lacking. Good. 
there. At least the core is good. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. But you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes. Lumbago. You are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. All right, let's go. Miserable bastards. Wind of this old lamb. They only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping yeah. like this since you Arthur's uh Grasshopper. Arthur's well, cough's gonna maybe. What is start getting worse. Here, exactly. Well, I told you, there's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing. I got some cool shit. Hold on. Uh, I got a cool mass. Psycho mass. The crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon, will Psycho. You Christ sakes. Okay. Hold on. One different one. Executioner hood. Canvas sack. I go with this Should one. Should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. There we go. Nobody needs to die here. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Yeah, you could really see it in Arthur's eyes. It was most noticeable there. The wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I. I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this... I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, <sighs> Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? I bought a lock breaker. Oh well. He's got a stick. That works. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! 
Hey! They can say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! I didn't mean to do that. Until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I don't know. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... I, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Oh, you snitch. Ain't me. It's gonna not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Ah! 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 
well, that was brutal. All right. Try it again. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fe Gotta go. Come on, Arthur. Let's head to the woods. Into the tree. Come on. Where are we going, Bill? Oh, this is cinematic as hell. Later, Renata. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. You see anything? Not yet. Get the hell off me! Ah! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Uh, busy 
young man's game. I'm gonna watch these rocks. Uh oh, kind of think they got some trouble over there. We better go give them a hand. Still alive. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwon. Get out of here. Every man split up. Gwon, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Witness? What witness? Ow. Come on, girl. Yeah. What? I'm being pursued. Yep. Escape for now. Mother.
Oh, is this a KKK rally? It is. With all of them gr grouped up like that, dynamite felt like the option. Yeah. Felt like a perfect option. Who's there? Where's my bed? I want to sleep till morning. I'm going to take my bathroom break. Give me like five minutes or so and I'll be back and we'll do another hour or so of RDR2. BRB.
All right, I'm back. Let's get back to the game. You'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy! Good morning, Arthur. You think this hey, is a Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. How you doing? Oh, I think things is all right. Good. It's the wrong thing. Oh, that place. It's a big mission from what I remember. We'll do it now, fuck it. It's that mansion that we like take over and use as our new base. But I don't think we do it at this mission. We definitely take it eventually. And the mission's really and the mission's really cool. Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their de dealing, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. Worth taking a look at, at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go rob some food. Let's do a Lenny. these crazies before you've been drinking again no well yes but no that's not how i might have met them <laughs> no well so yes <laughs> me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies mrs adler yeah and mrs adler did just fine more than fine actually she's terrified but i got a notion these fellers is one and the same yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see you riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. 
Out west. It's out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. <laughs> That's a band. <laughs> yeah. So it's I'm funny how that shit works. And every one of these as long as it's like a part of the game, <laughs> totally fine. Okay, but like if someone said that like randomly, oh yeah, being lynched back big band. With all of you by my side. I guess Same with like uh, nudity in games. Nudity, is, is, as long as it's part of the game, fine. But if it's like, but if someone had like a nude mod, man. If it's there naturally as a part of the game, it's fine. But if if it's some mod, then yeah, ban. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting Str shot at. Or as George W. said, strategery. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. So a bunch of Civil War vets who are still stuck in their ways 30 years later, holding out at an old base. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, hey does that look like dynamite in the back there? It's it red. Like we're on to something. It's red. It must be explosive. That's how it works in video games. I thought we were hanging back. You're right. Good point, Lenny. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might yep, be this place. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey. Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mouth up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there.
Yeah, that's uh, it could be explosives. We could just blow them the fuck up right now. Did you see anything? No. Explosives. Yes. yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? We got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. They got men covering the house. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Preferably well, like somewhere, draw them to somewhere that's hey, explosive. I'm always up for performance. All right, Lenny. Just give the word. Uh, hold on. Go on, Lenny. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Sending sending a black man to a group to a large group of com former Confederate soldiers. This uh, is today is a fine not and good. Day. Have all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merits <laughs> of glory and entrance you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my That's people. It. Praise be. Now, uh, are you? <laughs> have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be. I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be, or a, a, a great miracle shall strike. Gonna, am I gonna get a alert to here, pop off? A miracle shall strike you down. Get out of here, you nigger piece of shit. Yikes. Praise be. <laughs> the heavens. <laughs> I, I was waiting for like a sign, but it just wasn't coming. Get off Lenny. Got him.
All right. Quick. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. There's an area for weapons. Wagons, okay? Keep looking. This is just trash. This one looks good. Search it. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. A lot of enemies. some business with your brothers back there you don't look like any kind of folk we deal with our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties until now that is nope no something don't feel right about this not him and not you neither Yankee get these <laughs> Chasers. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> mm. Boy, oh boy. Look at this target on our backs. You did good. All it takes is someone you shooting did. that dynamite. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But then nothing but nothing. Me and Dutch and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Lenny! Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Oh, a bolt action. Nice. Micah? 
You fucking asshole. You spoken Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. God, I hate him. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Can I ever get food I and peace? They call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Well, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Fate, Parker. I'm still confused by this lawman look. Sorry, Mary Beth. True about the bad luck. What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. That's stupid. That's superstition. But we won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. God damn it. I just want to eat. Fuck it. Motherfuckers won't leave me alone. Mr. Morgan. My God. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, uh, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wonderful. Well, thank you, but... You were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. All right, leave me alone. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wanting. All right, so we got. That looks like a that, that appears to be a robbery with Bill. All right, let's go to Bill. something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. 
Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> there will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. And y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Uh, oh, no, he didn't seem very well. His yeah. wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. Yeah. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Thomas Downs, Karen? the... Let's go rob ourselves a bank. ...guy who What's spit on there? Arthur. Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. Yeah. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like a lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Bill got a fat ass horse. Once he's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now yeah, I'm 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 the hacker. Hey, I'm yeah. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be All right, let's see ya. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Yeah, I'll try. Oh. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. I still think I'm finding something good to get later. Boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. That, that'll yeah, be my good day. I'm trying to forget that, what little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? This music is tense. It's like building up to it. Bet you didn't think we'd end up. It's over nice build-up music. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch 
Mission Jose is thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Judge already managed to get us deputized. But we got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, it's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Hosea, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly yep. have been <laughs> I mean, why the They're all bad I ideas. <laughs> roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. I and risk. if we didn't rob this bank, we really And then sometimes I reward. Just like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this then. Is that one <laughs> of course, how can I forget? <laughs> the nun. Thou shalt not steal a habit from the local convent. Whose idea was that? I forget. I just know the guards were searching everyone on the way in for guns. Except for sweet sister Karen. Two shotguns uh, and a pistol you had under your skirt. <laughs> I'm surprised you could even walk. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Good morning. Hello. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Thank Robin time. Keep it cool and follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Um, I'm going harlot. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. There we go. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zelotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Uba, yep. <laughs> okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. You know me? Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just a tool up. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right. hands up! Go. This is a damn robbery! Nobody move! 
Don't hurt us! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, you think we're here to fight? We want the money. We want the money. Too goddamn slow. Just open the goddamn door. Your days. How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Up, bitch. Hurry, hurry the fuck up. Come on. Huh. Uh. 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 Okay. Shut up, bitch. Hurry up. I don't want to knock him out. Just open the fucking brink door. There you go. All right. Well, now you're not needed. I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. Damn. How are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boy, need to move this along. Hey, what's in there? Don't worry. I see him. I'll go check the front. Good money. Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. I got like one more safe left. Last one. Good. We oh, jeez. Last one. Yo, that was that was a lot of money. That, that was like around 20k, probably, if not more. I think, uh, I 
think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Yeah, that's a solid day out. We just gotta get away. Oh god, someone's snitching! Gentlemen, that was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. Very good take. Happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Downs. Let's end the stream on Mrs. Downs. I'll go see her and then yeah. call it. Yeah. Mrs. Downs is the wife of Thomas Downs. Thomas Downs is the guy who spit on Arthur and gave him TB. Of course, Arthur doesn't know that yet.
going back to her, it's greasy. Yeah, it's like, it's like, hey, so, uh, my husband died. How about you go fuck with his widow? <laughs> That's brutal. is very telling like knowing about this the Downs family music is very telling my husband's not cold in the ground and you come back here Archie I nearly paid off what was owed your husband knew the rules when he took that money now I'm real sorry about the way things turned out he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. That's... You think on that, boy? That's a little far, shall, Arthur. Sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Arthur should have gave her. <clears throat> Arthur should should have should have gave her a uh, good cough as he was riding away. And then it'd be kind of funny if she was like, "Hmm, sound like my husband's cough." Twenty thousand two hundred and fifty. The total share. That's what I thought. I, th I thought it was, it was about twenty k or more. Hi, Sadie. I'm going to bed. Arthur. No, no, no. Don't you try and talk to me now. All right, well, that is it for today. I'm going to fuck off.
Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, but it will be on YouTube. I, I will be streaming Resident Evil, but it, it'll probably be like an R2 rando or something like that on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, pr probably tomorrow afternoon. Um, or maybe morning. It depends on how impatient I get. But yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Thanks for the follows. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. All right. Bye.